Hare Krishna Maharaj, the voice is cracking. It's not clear. Hare Krishna. Signal is not good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Hello, Hari Bol. Hare Krishna. Uh, maybe signal not good, right? Uh, it, yeah, it's Haribol. like cracking. It's going, but it's cracking. Oh, it is cracking, cracking. Achha, I understand, I understand. Hare Krishna. Guru Kodara. Uh, 
the son of King Dracula, to abuse Priyam living Dharuni Dronacharya. Dharuni, the son of Dronacharya. It is thus, Ma should be Krishna Drogi. Her word as a Priyam like Tasya, his Jugup Sitam Karma Act, Vigarha Yanti, disapproved. When the respective warriors of both camps, namely the cover of Pandava, were on the battle of Kshetra. of his destinations. And when the son of Dhritarashtra fell down lamenting, his spinal his spine broken, being bitten by the club of Bhimasen, the son of Dronacharya, Ashwatthama, beheaded the five sleeping sons of Draupadi and delivered them as a prize to his master. Foolishly thinking that he would be pleased. Duryodhan, however, disapproved of the heinous act and he was not pleased in the least. Hare Krishna. And the top of the activities of Lord Sri Krishna in the Srimad Bhagavatam begin from the end of the battle where the Lord himself spoke about in the Bhagavatam. Therefore, both the Bhagavad Gita and are the central topics of Lord Krishna. The Gita is Krishna Katha or topics of Krishna because it is spoken by the Lord Bhagavatam because it is spoken by the Lord. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted everyone to be informed of both Krishna Kathas by his order. Lord Krishna Chaitanya, Lord Krishna Chaitanya is Krishna himself in the garb of a devotee of Krishna. Therefore, the versions of both Lord Krishna and Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are identical. Lord Chaitanya desired that all who are born in India seriously understand such Krishna Kathas and then after full realization, preach the transcendental message to everyone in all parts of the world. That will bring about the desired peace and prosperity of the uh, stricken world. Mata Shishunam Midanam Sutanam Nisham Yakoram Paritapyamana Tada Rudadvash Pakala Kulakshi Tam Santvayanaha Kirita Mali. So here, Mata means the mother, Shishunam of the children, Nidanam Masakar. Sutanam of the sons, Nishamya, after hearing, Goram, ghastly, Paritapyamana, lamenting, Tada, at that time, Arudat began to cry, Bashpakala, Akula, Akshi, with tears in the eyes, Tam, her, Santvayan, pacifying, Aha, said, Krita, Krit, Kirita, Mali, Arjuna, Draupadi, the mother of the five children of the Pandavas, after hearing of the massacres of her sons, began to cry in distress with eyes full of tears. Trying to pacify her in her great loss, Arjun spoke to her thus.
सुचस्ते प्रमृजामी भद्रे यद्रह्म बंदो शिरा तयिना गांडीव मुक्तिर्शिखे रूपाहरे स्वाक्रम्य स्नाग्धपुत्रा as you see that this is um, uh, actually very ferocious battle ha huh? actually this took place and even the children were not spared hmm, in this particular battle so this particular chapter also the name is ha huh, that you know how um, dronacharya's son ashwatthama ha huh, he mercilessly killed ha huh, the five sons of draupadi this is the uh, topic here huh? mata shishunam nidhanam sutanam nishamya goram paritapyamana tada rudad bashpa kalakshukaksh talakulakshi tam santvayan akiritamali so yadamrudhe kaurava sringayanam vishvatho vidgateshu kodara vidgada vimarsha bhagno rudande dhritarashtra putre bhartuhu priyan dravonir iti sma pashan krishna sutanam sapata उपाहरत्मी His spine broken, being bitten by the club of Bhimsen, the son of Dronacharya Ashwatthama, beheaded the five sleeping sons of Draupadi, and delivered them as a prize to his master. Foolishly thinking that he would be pleased, Duryodhan, however, disapproved of the heinous act, and he was not pleased in the least. Yadam rude kaura vasranja yanam. वीरेश्वर वीर गतिम गतिशु वृक्षोदरा विद्धगदा विमर्श भगनो रुदंडे दृतराश पुत्रे भरतु प्रियम द्रोणिति स्वपश्यन कृष्णा सुतानाम स्वपताम शिरांसी उपाहरत विप्रियम एवतस्य जुगुप्सितम कर्म विगर हयंती So Drona here means Drona Charya's son, a Brahmana, but he took the profession of a Kshatriya. That is degradation. When a Brahman takes the occupation of a Kshatriya, it is degradation. So this Drona, although he belonged to the Brahman family and he accepted the profession of a Kshatriya, he degraded so much that he cut off the heads of five sons of Drupadi while they were sleeping. So much degradation. A Kshatriya never. Slays slays anyone, anybody who is sleeping. Shatriya's business is to challenge, and if the other party has no weapon, he supplies weapon, and then there is a fight. Then it is decided, one must die. That decision is there. When there is fight between two Shatriyas, the decision is that must die. Unless one dies, the business, the fighting will never stop. That is called Vira Gatim. Vira Gatim. If a Kshatriya dies right, he gets the promotion of Vira Gati. Means he goes to the heavenly planet. This was advised by Krishna to Arjuna that you fight. If you are victorious, then you will enjoy this kingdom. And if you are killed, 
then you will go to the heavenly planets. Then, where is your loss? Both ways, you shall gain. Why shall you not fight? This advice was given by Krishna. So here it is said, Yadam Rudhe In the fight of, in the fight all the parties who died, they all obtained Viragatim. And most of them, they achieved Sarupa. That is just in a different place. Sarupa means his original spiritual form. And all the soldiers of the kings who died and at the time of death were seeing Krishna. Krishna was there in the battlefield. All of them achieved their original spiritual form, Sarupa. And those who did not see Krishna, they got promoted, Viragatim, in the heavenly planet. So fight is not always bad. If it is Dharma Yuddha, according to the crab rules, not whimsical fight, Dharma Yuddha, then there is gain. This science is lost. There is no such thing. <clears throat> now, fighting means hooliganism, vandalism, gundaism. <clears throat> that is not fight. <coughs> Here is fight. Veera Gatim Gate. They are all promoted. Then, at last, the fighting was between Dhritarashtra and Bhima. This Vrukodara, Kodara, Gadali, both of them, Duryodhana and Bhima, they were very expert in fighting with Gada. And they were fighting Balram. Balram, you know, intervened. Krishna was neutral, but he was talking, he was taking the side of Arjun. Taking the side of Arjun. He was driving the chariot. That means he was on the side of the Pandavas. But actually he was not fighting. So Balram also did not fight. And in order to avoid any parties, he went to holy places at that time. He was traveling all over India from holy places, one place to another. So when he returned, he had some sympathy with Duryodhan. Because Duryodhan was his disciple to learn how to fight with this Gada club. Naturally, he was sympathetic. Because he is a uh, disciple, so he was sympathetic. Balram was sympathetic. So when he came, they were fighting was going on. Just to show him respect, fighting was silent. That Balram sympathetic. And if he is the side of Duryodhana, then everything will be spoiled. Because he is the supreme person and he did not do so. He advised him, my dear Duryodhana. I know you are a great fighter, you have got strength, you are learned. You know the art of fighting, but you are not so strong as Bhima. Any advice, Bhima, my dear Bhima, you have got the strength of 10,000 elephants. Naturally, you are superior, stronger. So he knows the art better than you. Duryodhana knows the art better than you. And you are bodily stronger than him. So there will be no decision. The fighting will go on. Can you not stop? Because there will not be decision. The fighting will go on. Unless one is dead, the fighting will go on. So what is the use? Nobody will be victorious. The fighting will go on. Better stop. But they remain silent. Silent means they did like the idea. Because Bhima had many old grudges against Duryodhan. And because when Draupadi was being insulted, he had to sit down silent. No protest. There were so many incidences. Rivalry, insult, and counter insult. So they took the opportunity of feeding the old grudge by fighting. Everyone was determined, I must kill. Duryodhana was determined to kill Bhima, and Bhima was determined to kill. So when they did not send the of Baladev, then Baladev left the place. Swarka and that. So Bhima, Duryodhan, by the blessings of his mother, his whole body became iron like solid. So, by beating by the Bhima, by beating by the Bhima, it was not easy. So, the story is that Mary, the mother of Duryodhan, was a great chest woman. Her husband was black, she was black, covering the eyes. But she had some power, chest woman. Anyone who sticks to the regulative principles, she gets a power, spiritual 
or material. She gets power. A brahmachari gets power if he follows brahmachari. Everyone, if if you follow the prescribed rules and regulations, automatically you become powerful. So Gandhari had some power. So her eldest son, Duryodhan, was advised to see the mother naked. She advised, my dear son, tomorrow morning, when you come to offer your obeisances to me, you come naked. I shall see you. You will be sorry for it. I am going naked. I must where are you going? Uh, where you are going? Uh, I am going to see my mother. Duryodhan said. How is that? You are going naked. At least you have some lungot. Huh? Means you have some lion cloth around your huh? genital. Some cloth or, uh, just to wrap your genital. This is the instruction of Krishna and covered the part with the lungot. And when Gandhari saw, she saw he was not fully naked. So she related, Oh my dear son, I asked you to, I asked you to come before you. Why got this? No, Krishna. Then she began to smile. That my attempt is failure. So Krishna knew it. That part which was not covered, that was not turned iron. Other parts turned into iron on account of seeing that. That here, that part is a gate, you see, like the whole. I mean, as there is this law, you cannot kill him. Below that, he killed. But it is broken. There it is. Many years. The day of Guru. The day of Dhritarashtra Bhutra. Duridhan was Dhritra Bhutra. At that time, the Drauni is Yodhan. A Brahman became a Kshatriya. Foundation. A Brahman cannot become servant. No become servant. Only the Shudras can become servant. Brahman never becomes servant. They are instructed. Satyam Yama Vidya Ardhamam Yana Vigya Vigya Yama Karma They train and the grasses how to become perfect discipline. First discipline is truthfulness. It lies. That is the first question. So who is going to take training in that way? Nobody is interested. Trying to take people. Bling, no intoxication. Still, there are some us. And if we teach in our institution, please do not speak lies. People will laugh. What is this nonsense? Nowadays, it is possible to be speaking lies. This is the podi. This is called karma. Nobody is interested to be trained up as a Brahman. Nobody is interested to be trained up as a Kshatriya. Neither the way. They are all sure. Therefore, we say, there is no, it is very, very difficult to train them to become purified by training. These, these statuses of life were different status of training so that ultimately one can become Brahman. And when he is fully trained up as a Brahman, then he transcends the Brahman's position and he becomes a Vaishnava. So to become a Vaishnava is not so easy thing. One has to become Brahman. Then when he surpasses the stages of Brahman, he becomes Brahman. 
Similarly, when one comes to the stage of Vasudev, Vasudev means perfect Vaishnava. Perfect Vaishnava. But he has mother. Who is his mother? Father? Again. Who can become his father, mother? But he accepts when he descends to his mother. Yadai Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bhata Abhyutha Dharmasya Tadatmanam Sajam Yaha Janma Karjame Divyam Evam Yogyatita Tatkadeham Punta Janma Naiti Mane Tishwarnam Don't take ordinarily. Oh, Krishnai of a mother, they keep salt. No, one has to mother to accept the devotee as the world yoga. This is the Manushanam says, Treshu, Kashit, this is Yatatam of his danam, Kashin, Mam, Betty, that what to understand Krishna Sotaha in truth. It is not, it is possible for a man out of many millions of men. Manushyam says, Preshu, the ship is. One can simply work devotional service. A pure devotee, without any continuous devotee, this is I am. I am like this. You cannot speculate about Krishna. That is not. Nayam Atma Bacharena Labhu, no Medayana Bhuna Shutena, Ame Vesha Vurte, Tena Labdas, the Seisha Atma Vimurte, Tanam Swam. You cannot understand Krishna simply. You are a tornado. You are a. Not so easy to cheat or transcript language. A person. That is not Atma. This is Nayam Atma, Nayam Atma, Prabhachene, Labhyo, Dhyana, Bhavna, Shukhena. Because you have got a fertile brain, therefore you will be able to understand Krishna. No. Na bahuna shite na. Because you are a very good scholar, you have studied so much. No. If Krishna reveals to you, then you will be able. That revelation is possible when you are a devotee. Not possible. Nayam atma pravachane labhya. So we have to wait for that opportunity when Krishna reveals. How that revelation is possible? Ata Shri Krishna nama di nabhavet grayam indriyai. Sevan Mukhe Jivado Swameva Spuratyadha. No one can understand the transcendental nature of the name, form, quality, and pastimes of Sri Krishna through his materially contaminated senses. Only when one becomes spiritually saturated by transcendental service to the Lord are the transcendental name, form, quality, and pastimes of the Lord revealed to him. By sense perception or sense speculation, we cannot. Namadi, chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra, you cannot understand. Ata Shri Krishna Namadi, Nam, Rup, Leela, Parikar, Vashishta, everything. You cannot understand with this blunt sense. Then how? Sevon Mukhehi Jivado Swayame Vaskuratkara. When you engage your senses, purified senses, Sevon Mukhe, purified senses means when the senses are engaged in the service of the Lord. Everything, then you can understand Krishna. Sevan Mukhei Divado Swayame Vasuratyada. Krishna is not your servant. Krishna, I want to see you. No. That you cannot see. Swayame Vasuratyada. When he is pleased, 
when he sees that he is a pure devotee then he reveals so the pandavas were the pure devotees therefore krishna took his side and they became victorious in the fight and krishna is always ready to give protection to his devotees kaunte yapati jani he nami pacha pranashyati ये सूर्य सिंह चक्र ऑलवेज प्रोटेक्ट इज डिवोट इज दैट इज अ पोजिशन ऑफ डिवोट इज थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ वर्स नंबर फिफ्टीन वी आर डिस्कसिंग टूडे माता शिशूना निधन सुता निशम्य घोरम परिताप्यम तदा ंग Vashvakala akula akshi with tears in the eyes, tam har santvayan pacifying. Aha said, "Kirita, Arjun, Drupadi, the mother of the five children of the Pandavas, after hearing of the massacre of his sons, began to cry in distress with eyes full of tears, trying to pacify her in her great loss." Arjun spoke to her thus. Here you will see that Drupadi uh, is lamenting eh? because her son has been, her five sons have been killed. Eh? So what a great tragedy! Eh? But she is actually very merciful lady, eh? and Mata Shishu Nam Nidhanam Suta Nam Nishamya Goram Parita Pyamana. अर्जुन प्रभुपाद हिस्ट्री ऑफ द्रौपदी शी एड फाइव हजबेंड्स विच इज फर्बिडन नाउ अ डेज although in some hilly districts still this system is current that one woman has got five or six husbands this practice was there even in high circle that is now forbidden devareno totpattim kalau pancha vivarjayet don't try to imitate draupadi that is not allowed in this age ashwamedham gavalam bham सन्यासम कलयुगा फॉर सैक्रिफाइस काउ सैक्रिफाइस कर्म सन्यास एंड ऑफरिंग फ्लैश ऑब्लेशन टू द फोर and begetting children through the brother younger brothers of one's husband is forbidden in kali yuga so brothers of so so when draupadi was gained by arjuna the five pandava so when they came to their mother in jubilation they exclaimed mother we have got a very nice jewel So mother said, "All right, my dear sons, enjoy it, all of you, Payu." So on the order of the mother, they accepted Draupadi as common as a common wife. But that does not mean she had many sons; only five sons. 
by five husbands, one son. So by the five husbands, one son each. That is also another system. Not competition that each husband will produce dozens of uh, children. No. So when the mother understood that her sons were killed, suddenly she was very, very unhappy. Mata Shishunam Nidhanam Sutanam Nishamya Goram Parita Pyamana Lamenting. That is natural. So Tadaru Ashtakach with tears, she was crying. Tam Santwayan Ah Kirita Mali Tam Santwayan classifying Ah Kirita Mali Kirita Mali is Arjuna. So they were directly connected to Krishna. Dropped his other name Krishna. And still they suffer the material. Not because one is conscious, there will be no material thing. Those who are Krishna conscious, they have no material. Although it appears that they are suffering, they are not suffering. They can accept any so called suffering and mercy of Krishna. They never take it as. Tate no kampam susami shamano bunjane va bakutam viva rudva babu vilsan ve mukti parte sada. My dear Lord, one who earnestly waits for you to bestow your causeless mercy upon him. All the while patiently suffering the reactions of his past misdeeds and offering your respectful obeisances with his heart, words, and body is surely eligible for the liberation. For it has promised full claim. A devotee is in so called suffering, he accepts it as the mercy of Krishna, the Tenu Kampam, and he rather thanks Krishna that. So many times, but I am my giving me suffering. So it is your mercy. And if anyone in that attitude, everything you can ask Krishna mercy, it's guaranteed to guard it. Mukti that to God is exactly like the inheritance of God by the Son. Mukti Pade so we should learn from the Pandavas that Krishna was always present with them. Still they had to suffer so much material tribulation. So they were never unhappy. Neither they requested Krishna that, my dear friend Krishna, you are with us, still we have to suffer. Never express that. That is pure devotion. Never try to take any benefit from Krishna. Simply try to give benefit to Krishna. Do not take any benefit from Krishna. This is pure devotion. Perhaps, you know, that once upon a time, Rupa was said that if I would get some nice food stuff, I would have invited uh, Sanadana Goswami and cook some nice food. It is not like that. They were living in Vrindavan here and there under the shade of a tree. They had no stock, nothing. So one very beautiful girl came and offered rice, dal, ghee. She said, Baba, we have got some festival. In this country, they address saintly person as Baba. So she offered things. And she immediately invited Sanadana Goswami. And he immediately invited Sanadana Goswami. They were living separately. And Rupa Goswami was a very good cook also. She had very nice preparation offered to Sanadana Goswami Prashadam. Sanadana Goswami astonished. All these nice things for us that in the morning desire and in just a few hour time, little time, one very beautiful girl came and offered these ingredients. So after hearing the description of the beautiful girl, Sam Goswami could understand that she was Radharani. So immediately he chastised Rupa Goswami that you have taken service from Radharani. This is not good. We are trying to give service to Radharani and you have taken service from Radharani. So this is Vaishnava's life. We are firmly determined not to bother Krishna with anything, simply to serve him. 
ಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಜ್ಞಾನಕರ್ಮಾಜ್ಞನಾವೃತ ಆನುಕೂಲ್ಯನ ಕೃಷ್ಣನೋ ಶೀಲನ ಭಕ್ತಿರುತ್ತಮ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಡಿಸೋಸಫಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಿಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಸರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಫೆವರೆಬಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ similarly krishna also finds opportunity when to serve his devotee this is the reciprocation the devotee wants to serve krishna without any return and krishna also wants to serve devotee whenever there is opportunity this is the transaction of love not to take anything in return ashlishava padaratam pinashtumam adarshanam marmahatam karotu va ಠಾಕುರ ಮಾಸೇಹಾಗೆಹಾಕೆಚುಮರ ಅರ್ಪಿಲೋತು ಆಪದೆ ನಂದ ಕಿಶೋರ ನಂದ ಕಿಶೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ನಂದ ಕಿಶೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮಾನಸ ದೇಹ ಗೇಹ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ಸೊ ಕಾಲ್ ಡೋಮ್ ಅವರ್ ವೈಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ So everything is offered to you. Manasa deha geha joke chomora. This is full surrender. Now he says, Mara bira khabi joe cha to hara nitya das api aarika hara. i am surrendering to you everything if you like you can save me or if you like you can kill me this is full surrender so these pandavas are the best example and better than the pandavas there are other devotees and the top most surrender devotees are the gopis there is no more higher exalted devotees than the gopis therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu recommended that the gopis ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭೋರ್ಮತಿ then the method by which the gopis worship krishna they their love was so intense that they did not care for any family any honor or any prestige nothing that is the highest of most loving thing loving stage of krishna and krishna also krishna also loved the gopis so much so that krishna asked them that you cannot expect any return from me for your ecstatic love i cannot give you it is beyond my pa- beyond my power na parahe ham niravadya samyujam sa sadhu krutyam vibudayushapi va yama bhajan durjar ke ha shrankhala saurasya 
So they purchased Krishna and the topmost hope is Radharani. So we should not consider these gopis dealing with Krishna as ordinary material beings. It is not that Ananda Chinma Rasa Pratibhavitavi Stavirya Eva Nija Rupa Tayakalavi Goloka Eva Shiva Satya Kirat Mahuto Govindamadi Purusham Tamam Bajami Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Govindamari Purusham Tamaham Bajami The gopis are expansion of Krishna's pleasure potency that he described initially by Shri Yoga Swami. Radha, Radha, Krishna, Pranavi, Krutir, Ladi, Shakti, Ma, Ekat, Manavu, Vibhut, Ekat, Manavu, Vibhura, Deha, Vedam, Gatau, Tau, Chaitan, Nyakyam, Prakata, Madhuna, Tadvay, Or, Chakya, Ma, Adhava, Juti, Suvalitam, Naomi, Krishna, Swarupam, Naomi, Krishna, Swarupam, Krishna has got the pleasure potency. Parasa Shakti Vibhideva Shriyate Swabha Viti Jnana Balakriya Acha He has got huh? Supreme Lord has multi potencies which acts so perfectly that all consciousness when they are being directed solely by his will. Shweta Shikata Upanishad 6.8 He has got multi energies. In Vishnu Puran he also said Parasya Brahmana Shakti Tathedam Akhilam Jagat. Whatever we see, that is a display of potencies, different potencies of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Just like the sun is 93 million of miles away from the earthly planet, still we are getting heat and light energy of the sun. That is Krishna's energy. All the solar planet, the most in the spiritual world, you cannot get how far the spiritual world is from the material world. From material calculation, they say it takes about some 40,000 of years to the limit of this universe. Then beyond that universe, that Another nature. Then you pass through the Brahma Jyoti. There are innumerable unlimited number of Vaikuntha planets. Then above all of them, there is the planet of Golok of Vrindavan, where Krishna resides. It is said in Brahma Samhita. Yeti Prabhava Nichya Vita Shayena Govindama Adipurisham Tamaham Bhajyam There are other planetary systems, Haridham, Vaikuntha Dham. Then this is, this material world is called Devi Dham. And between the Golok, between the spiritual world and material Goloka Dham Nidha Dham Kastya Dhi Mahi Dham Adipurisham So there are so many <coughs> Planetary systems. So each planet is full of living entities. The spiritual planets, they are living entities. They are all liberated. Nitya Mukta. And those who are within this material world, planets, they are Nitya Baddha. Nitya Baddha, Nitya Mukta. There are two kinds of living entities. The Nitya Baddhas are uh, only few. 
but the nitya muktas are many many this material world is only one fourth energy of the creation the three fourths energy is in the spiritual world and here in the one fourth energy there are innumerable universes and each universe is full of different types of planets and each planet is full of living entities but these rascals they say it is there is no living entity it is sand and rock so this is not the fact you have to understand from the vedic literatures about the planet uh, where which planet is existing where is the spiritual world and where is the material world all informations are there don't speculate and say that this planet is full of living planets are there this is not unusual argument there is no meaning but we are not concerned with that we have got our own information from the veda so krishna's pastime are going on somewhere or elsewhere they are going on therefore his pastimes are called nitya leela nitya leela prakash this vrindavan leela is nitya leela it is going on continuously somewhere or other within this material world and the spiritual world it is permanently there so the pandavas they are the they are associates of the nitya leela they are not ordinary human beings wherever there is krishna leela they go therefore arjun asks krishna that how can i believe that you first of all many millions of years ago you spoke the philosophy to the sun god krishna replied बहुनी में व्यतीता जन्मा तव चार्जन तान्यम वेद सर्वाणी नत्म अपरम तप आ बहुनी में व्यतीता जन्मा तव चार्जन अर्जुन बोथ यू एंड मी वेर टुगेदर एंड वी हैव पास थ्रू मेनी मेनी डिफरेंट लीडर्स बट यू हैव फॉरगॉटन आई रिमेम्बर दैट इज द डिफरेंट बिटवीन गॉड एंड द लिविंग एंटिटीज दे कैन नॉट बी इक्वल यू फॉरगेट द मायावादी मायावादी फिलोसॉफर दे पुट द आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट बिकॉज वी हैव फॉरगॉटन now in maya we have forgotten that we are god so what kind of god he is if you forget god never says i have forgotten krishna says vedaham samatitani i know past present and future that is the question of forgetting so if somebody forgets that god is different from the god who does not forget therefore we have to accept two immediately you have to accept dvaitavad one forgetting god and one not forgetting god you cannot accept one that is not possible and that is the fact just like krishna says i remember when i spoke to sun you have forgot so there are two similarly krishna's another name is achyuta he never falls down from his position and if we fall down from the position therefore we are not on the same level we may have some power and we can claim that i am god that you can claim but not that god like krishna therefore two words are there ishwara parmeshwara in brahma samhita therefore it is described that ishwara there must be many but not parmeshwara parmeshwara is one ishwara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha anadira dir govinda sarva karana karana so this mayavadi is the forget this that ishwara parmeshwara there are two words atma and parmatma there are two words so they are not equal and krishna says matta paratam nanya kinchit asti hananjaya bhagavad gita 7.7 he is foremost ishwara to ketana katopanishad 2.2.13 although both of us are nitya eternal and living entity still there is difference he is supreme living entity we are subordinate prabhu and anu vibhu and anu so this philosophy is perfect and anyone who accept this mayavad philosophy that god and living entity are on the same level they have got poor fund of knowledge thank you very much hare krishna so um it's stopping at now 1.7.16 tomorrow
Okay, did this verse ten point seven point sixteen? Okay. Verse number sixteen. Uh, it is an important verse. Sixteen. Tadashitaste Brahmajami Badre Yad Brahma Mando Shirata Taina Gandhi Vamukta Vishika Rupa Hare Vakar Bakram Mayan Snasi Dadda Putram Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much on the Bakrams. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna.